The Charge of the Gauchos is a 1928 American-Argentine silent historical film directed by Albert H. Kelly and starring Francis X, Bushman, Jacqueline Logan and Guido Trento. Bushman plays Manuel Belgrano, the leader of the 1810 May Revolution. The film's Spanish title refers to a line from the Argentine national anthem. It was made as a patriotic endeavor designed to boost the small Argentine film industry, but with enough action and romance to appeal to international audiences particularly in Britain and the United States. Cast Francis X, Bushman as Belgrano, Jacqueline Logan as Monica Salazar, Guido Trento as Monteris, Paul Ellis as Balcas, Henry Colker as Viceroy Cisneros, Charles Hillmales as Saavedra, Jack Hopkins as Lezica, Charles K. French as Salazar, Olive Hasbrook as Mariana, Matilda Comment as Aunt Rosita, Jack Ponder as George Gordon, L.I.G. Conley as Gomez, Gino Corrado as Moreno, Frank Hagney as Goyenicha, Otto Hoffman as Balcarce's father, Margaret McQuaid as Balcarce's mother, James Gordon as Bishop, Serge Tartashi as Castelli, Henry Hebert as Martin Rodriguez, Harry Samels as Berity, Elmer Dewey as French, Kurt Ferberg as Patriot. Production The Spanish-born Argentine producer Julian Aduria was unhappy with previous representations of Argentina in Hollywood films. After failing to secure Hollywood backing for his project, he raised the finances elsewhere but decided to shoot in America with a largely American cast in order to boost the film's chances of a good release. There, Bushman had been a major star during the silent era, although his career was starting to decline. Ajuria went to great lengths to recreate authentic costumes and settings of the period. During its production, the film was criticized by Argentine newspapers who felt that it would be another Hollywood-style retelling of Argentina's history. But these attitudes began to change once preview screenings were held. Release the film premiered on March 10, 1928 of the Cervantes Theatre in Buenos Aires. It went on release in the United States in September the same year, distributed by FBO which shortly afterwards merged into the major RKO pictures. The running time of the film was significantly cut down, and it was generally shown as part of a double bill. It was not successful, partly due to the arrival of sound which made silent films non-commercial. However, in Argentina it was exceptionally popular and remained in release for two whole years. It was the most popular silent film ever released in the country. Aduria's hoped that it would stimulate the creation of an Argentinian film industry, but this not immediately happen. It was for many years considered a lost film, until its rediscovery and screening in 2013. Bibliography Finky Ilman, George. The Film Industry in Argentina. An Illustrated Cultural History. McFarland, 2003.